Okay, let's have a little fun with the module. So now we're gonna try to refactor my code and create the network security groups via a module. So we're just gonna create here a local module where I'm gonna put my files inside the slash NSG directory. So I'm gonna create here the way to call this module. So I'm gonna pass him uh, the name of the module. I'm gonna change the variables to be a little bit more Terraform 12 type of syntax. I'm um, having uh, that field, uh, okay. I just now need to take the resource code and create that into my main.tf under the slash NSG directory. So let's do that here. I'm creating NSG directory. I'm gonna create a main.tf to get started. And of course, I'm not going to call the things directly. I need to change it to um, variables. So let's put uh, var.name for this guy, var.location, and var.rg uh, for this guy. So that's just variables that are meaningful within uh, this module, and we need to declare them. So let's create now a variable.tf file where I'm gonna create all of those guys. So that's about it, variable.tf. I'm passing those four uh, variables that I'm gonna inherit basically on the runtime when I call the module. Let's now modify the output. So my output for NSG is not anymore on the main module, but is now on the child module NSG. So I need to do the output and create same thing, the Azure RM network security group .test, And I want to export um, that. So I will have this available uh, for me. So I have this, now I should be able to leverage uh, this as a module. So let's save all the files that I have here and let's have a quick overview of whatever thing I may have missed. So it's important to do a Terraform in it because we have a new module and we need Terraform to have the module logic in its cache. So let's do some check and we see that, yep, here I missed from my module NSG, it's called RG. So I need to feed the RG variable and not anymore the resource group name. So here, that's how I do the plumbing. I'm doing the Terraform apply and it should now be okay to apply this configuration inside my environment. So that's a very quick uh, refactoring uh, that I did on my code. Here you see that the output of the child object doesn't show up into the parent object. But I can share that and I could need I could re-export it with the output file if I export the child module. That's for the first one. We could also reuse some shared module that someone wrote previously. So we have the Terraform registry, and you can also have any kind of module that you can leverage. So here I'm using my repository of uh, code that I have on GitHub, and I'm going to use something to create the resource group, which is rather different. So here I have this resource group module that allows me to create not only a resource group, but a set of resource group out of a map of names that I pass to it. So here I'm going to see that same thing, this variable are accepted by this uh, module. So if you go there, I'm gonna say my resource group set, and I'm gonna specify that the code is basically coming from GitHub. So I'm going to copy uh, the link. I'm going to specify that I want a specific version that I see on the repo, which is the version 0 0.1. So rev equal uh, 0 0.1. And then I need to modify uh, here the URI to specify git uh, slash colon colon github uh, .com and as tf mode. So now I need to specify the parameters for um, calling this module. And we see uh, inside the documentation of this module that I take a prefix, which is going to be used for creating the resources. It takes a resource group list and it takes the location and the tags. So let's remove my previous resource group um, object. And you see that, okay, it looks pretty okay. I need to declare a variable called RG list. So I'm gonna keep resource group name for now. I'm going to create RG list. Now I need to populate this RG list. And I see in the documentation of the module that actually it's a map that I can create with a list. So I 
creating RG1 equal my RG1 and RG2 equal my RG2. So that's the data structure that I have. And automatically by passing it to this guy, it's going to create those two uh, resource groups automatically for me. So if I go back at the code, I see that in the variable, that's correct. That's a map of string that I pass to this guy. And I can see that inside the main, I'm going to use this structure and I'm going to use the element of it to create the resource group. So it looks pretty okay. Now I need to change the way that I'm going to create my resource group names inside my uh, virtual network and my NSG. So if I look at the syntax, I can now call this with module dot the name of the module that I created and then one name of one of the outputs that I'm using. So I see in my code that I have names, which is an output generated by this module. So I can use name. A name uh, actually is a map of strings that I can refer with the resource group one. So here I'm going to check into the structure resource group one. That's where I'm going to use and I'm going to create the virtual network object. So I'm going to do the same thing for NSG. And you see that here, that's my reference. So it's a zip with the list of the resource group and the name of the resource group. So that should do here. And let's just try this in my environment. So I saving all the parameters. I need to do an init because you see that this is now a new module which I need to download and put in my cache. So we downloaded it from GitHub. Now I have it locally. I can run the code and I can do my Terraform plan. So there's a bit of changes here. Let's see what I missed. So I missed that, yeah, my output is not anymore valid because I'm not directly calling uh, this object. I'm calling uh, RGList. So here you have the set of resources. It's not exactly a best practices. I should have destroyed it previously, but okay, it's resilient enough and it's going to do that for me. So if I do a Terraform apply with auto approve, it's going to delete the previously existing object and replace it with uh, the settings that I passed um, that I passed here. So that's pretty much the environment. I can do just a Terraform destroy and that's always a very good recommendation to do create, applying the settings, destroying, recreate it, changing one variable, then reapplying the settings, then destroying it. That's very, very important. When you're creating module, you're going to create things that you reuse everywhere. So you really want to test the robustness of uh, the code, the reliability and the deterministic behavior that you have when you're doing uh, the different step and the different life cycles of an object in Terraform. So that's it for the module.